And now a section of religious leaders want the government to ease the countrywide curfew directives during New Year's Eve. The clerics argue that the lifting of the 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. curfew will allow the faithful to congregate in their places of worship and participate in prayers and the New Year Eve service. This and more in the County News Roundup. As the countdown to ushering in of the year 2021 news, a section of religious leaders from Wasim Gishu County has called on the government to ease the curfew. The group stating that 2020 has been a year with a myriad of challenges and there was need for prayers to sanctify 2021. It's only one night, just some few hours. Watu wakutane, waombe mungu, atutangulie. Meanwhile, Westport County Woman Representative Lillian Tom Tom has called for unity among area leaders, arguing that political divisions are hurting development efforts in the region. The legislator also urged residents to shun the retrogressive practices such as female genital mutilation. <laughs> Finally, over 500 health workers within Samburu County have completed a mentorship training program on family planning and maternal health. The AFETIMISA program aims at improving maternal health and reducing mortality rates. And now the program has reached its maturity with over 500 healthcare workers graduating through the program, uh, with um, the county uh, taking over and um, owning up the program, the county appointing you know, a county mentorship coordinator to lead the process, the county committing resources to run the process in the future. A number of uh, you know, maternal deaths occur because one, uh, uh, poor decision making by the community health volunteers, uh, two, lack of proper monitoring, uh, three, and uh, delay in starting treatment. And therefore, so these are the critical gaps that we wanted to cover up. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.